Okay, so I've had some questions on how to use the soil texture triangle, and this is my video response to try to help you out with that. So the soil texture triangle is something that soil scientists use to determine what the texture is based on the percentage of sand, silt, and clay, which makes up the inorganic portion of our soil. So those three things combined are what we need to determine the texture. So generally you're given um, a percentage of all three of these, in reality, you only need two to determine that. The triangle contains the percentages along these edges, and then there are lines that run this way for the clay. There are lines that run this way for the silt, and then there are lines that run this way for the sand. So you see the number is also angled to kind of help you determine which one of those lines you're looking at. This is running this way, the same as that. So if I'm given a texture of say, it has to equal 100%, it doesn't matter what it is, all three components have to equal 100%. So let's do 20% let's do sand and 70% silt. So we need 10 more percent in clay. So again, that's 20% sand, 70% silt, and 20% in clay. I'm sorry, 10% in clay. So I'm going to use the sand line. So if I'm 20% sand, here's the 20% sand, and you can see the line runs this way. So I've got to be somewhere along that line. It is kind of faint. There, maybe you can see it better. So I'm either going to be a silty loam, I'm going to be somewhere between a clay loam and a silt clay loam, or I'm going to be a clay. So if I'm 20% sand, and I'm 70% silt, where those two intersect is right here. So that tells me that I have a silty loam. Now, I can verify this by following the horizontal line over here, and there's my 10% clay, which means I still have a silty loam. So let's do another example. Let's say I have 40% sand, 40% silt, and 20% clay. So I'm going to use the sand and the clay this time. So here's my 40% sand. And draw this up here so I know I'm somewhere on that line. Okay. And then I'm 20% clay. So I'm going to be somewhere in here, which means those two intersect right here. That tells me I have a loam. Okay. So I hope that helps you figure out what you need um, to determine the texture. If you've got any other questions, please let me know.